The Ministry of Fisheries and Marine Resources explained how biotoxins end up in oysters and mussels at Swakopmund and Valvis Bay areas. Such biotoxins are harmful to human health, thus the ministry stopped the harvest and consumption of oysters and mussels two weeks ago. The ban was lifted last Friday as the retail showed that the shellfish are now safe to eat. The reason why we warn the public and why we inform the, the customers is because of the biotoxins. Some of these biotoxins are extremely potent and it can kill people. Uh, our staff goes out every Monday to Wolfers Bay to the Aqua Park to take parameters, water parameters. Uh, we take uh, oxygen level, pH, uh, we take the temperature and then we take water samples. And the water samples are analyzed in our laboratory here, where the phytoplankton is identified. Uh, we have a number, a large number of uh, phytoplankton species, and there is also uh, a list of harmful algae. And we monitor and identify the, the water samples so that we can get an identity or an idea of what uh, phytoplankton is pre uh, prevalent in the water. Some of these uh, species are causing uh, or they produce biotoxins under certain conditions. Boat said even though oysters and mussels from the Valvis Bay and Swakopmund areas are now safe to eat, the Valvis Bay Mary Culture Production Area 1 is still closed for commercial harvesting of mussels. He said the ministry will announce when it's safe to harvest and eat mussels from that area.